welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do my everyday foundation. Some people might think that this is way too much makeup for everyday use, but I don't care. It's what I do. So if you'd like to see how I do my makeup every day, just keep watching. Okay, so I already did my eye makeup because this is all about the foundation, so the eye makeup's not really the point of this video. Before I did do my eye makeup, I did start by moisturizing my completely clean skin with the True Cream Aqua Balm from Belief. I This is just a sample size. I got this from Sephora. Um, I'm still trying out to see if I like it, but this is a really big sample size. I've already used it like probably 10 times and I still have this much left. So that's a, it's a really, um, significant sample size but I'm still trying it out to see if I like it to see if I want to spend the money on it but so far I do like it but I'm still not sure so we will see how that goes the first step of my foundation is a primer today we're going to be using the makeup forever step one skin equalizing primer in uh, this is the smoothing primer I'm just gonna put three dots on my fingers like so and then I just rub my fingers together. And I'm just gonna put it all over my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my actual foundation. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. This is an awesome foundation. I actually got it because Jaclyn Hill was using it all the time and I love her. She tells no lies and this stuff is amazing. So I'm going to start with that. I use the shade 117 or Y225. It's pretty light because I'm pretty pale. So I'm just going to start. I put two lines here. And then I just kind of do a couple lines everywhere. And so now we're going to blend it out. Before I blend it out with the blending brush, I'm going to spritz my face all over with MAC Fix Plus. I feel like that really helps with this foundation to um, really blend it out smoothly. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush and just buff that foundation into the skin. I really like how full coverage this foundation can be and it doesn't look like too much it's full coverage but it's not too heavy when I first started using this foundation I was blending it with the beauty blender and I found that it worked too well with my skin with the beauty blender so I started um, to use my buffing brush from Real Techniques, the one I'm using now. And I love the way it looks. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to be using the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This concealer is really great for the under eyes and that's what I use it for. So I'm just going to put it under my eyes. Now that I have my concealer on under my eyes to conceal my dark circles, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just blend it out. Whenever you're using a beauty blender, you want to make sure it's damp. I run mine under some like warm water before I use it and just, like squeeze it like 20 times to make it like as big as possible. After I squeeze out all the excess water, I squeeze it in a towel um, to make sure I get the rest of the excess water out. Because you don't want it to be wet, you just want it to be damp. So now that I have my under eye concealer all blended in, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. And I'm going to take um, the light shade here to just add a little bit of cream highlight to my face. I'm going to take an Eco Tools Skin Perfecting Brush. Um, I really like this brush cause, for this purpose because it's really dense so it picks up the product really well. So I'm just going to take that shade 
and just highlight where you highlight. So the bridge of, bridge of my nose, gonna bring it up to the forehead. Cupid's bow and my chin. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend that all in, just patting it out. To set my concealer, I'm gonna go in with Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I totally need a new one, but it's okay because I love it, as you can see. I'm gonna take these two powders and mix them together and tap off the excess. I'm using a Morphe M438 brush, and I'm just gonna pat that under my eyes to set that concealer. I'm going to do the same for the other eye. You want to make sure to pat off the excess so you don't look kind of like crepey under your eyes where you put it because that can easily happen. And so I'm going to do the same thing and also set where we highlighted. So now that we have our highlight all set, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and I'm just gonna use what is in the lid. Because you don't want too much. Because you don't wanna make your skin look too dry with too much powder. So you dip it and tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to buff that onto my face where I didn't use the highlighting powder. Now that my entire face is set with powder, I'm gonna go in and do a little contour. So I'm gonna take my shade and light palette again. And I'm just using a contour brush from, this is from BH Cosmetics. It's really nice and really affordable. It gets the job done. So I'm gonna take this lightest contour color in the shade and light palette. I'm gonna dip it in there and tap off the excess. And just go in on my cheekbones. I'm gonna bring that up to my temple. And up to the corner of my forehead. And just keep blending for my everyday makeup look I go in for a more natural looking contour um, if I'm going out or something I'll go in with a more stronger and sharp contour but for an everyday look that's not very necessary to me but I do always contour I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side of my face. Can I go in and just do very lightly on the nose? I'm not a big fan of a nose contour on me. But I do feel like it just needs to add a little bit of warmth right there. So that's why I do it so, so lightly. 
I have something in my eye and it hurts. Got it. <laughs> and we can't forget the jawbone, so I'm just going to kind of come in a little on the jawbone. Now that we are done with our contour, I'm going to come in with a little bit of bronzer to kind of just blend everything together. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. <sighs> smells so good. For people who don't know, this bronzer is made up with cocoa powder. So it smells like chocolate and it smells delicious. So I'm going to come in with my MAC 135 brush. Just go in lightly and tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to go back where I contoured a little bit um, to just pull it together and blend it in just a little bit more. And I'm going to bring that down on my neck to just blend everything together down there. So now I'm going to go in with my highlight. Today I'm using Champagne Pop. Love this highlight. This is Jaclyn Hill's collab with Becca Cosmetics. This is an awesome highlighter and I love Jaclyn Hill so it makes it all the better. And I'm just going to bring a fluffy brush. Got some Champagne Pop. I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to grab a little bit more product on my brush and bring that into my temple and up a little on my forehead. And just the tiniest amount on the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow and chin. Cool. So now we are all highlighted and champagne poppy. So now we're going to go in with blush. I'm going to go in with NARS Madly. I love this blush. I mean, it doesn't look like much, and I was really hesitant to get it at first because in Sephora I was like swatching it on my hand, and it would like barely show up, but then I um, convinced myself through watching YouTube videos that I needed a little bit of a NARS Madly in my life, so I went ahead and bought it, and it's the greatest blush in the world. So I'm taking my NARS Madly and my Morphe E4 brush, and I'm just going to dip it into the blush and tap off the excess and then I'm going to start on the top of my cheekbones and just bring it forward. Kitty? Kitty. So I'm just bringing that forward to the apples of my cheeks. So pretty. So now I'm just going to do the same to the other cheek. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. This is how I do my foundation every day, sometimes changing it up with the color of the blush but or highlight, but this is how it goes down in my world every day. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see a tutorial on this eye look I'd be more than happy to do it so just leave a comment down below or if you have any other requests for videos I'm always looking out for new ideas and I will be more than happy to try and get those videos out to you please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time bye